Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today we're going to talk more omnichannel. We're going to talk about sentiment and we're going, to, we're going to talk about how agents and supervisors can stay on top of customer sentiment, okay? So sentiment is basically what the customer is feeling. So when a customer is is on a chat, if they're let's say they're really angry, we can turn on sentiment analysis and the system will basically analyze the messages that they're typing into the chat and they'll see if there is anger in the in the words that they're using or if there's happiness and it will kind of report that back to us okay so that's very useful because if you're a supervisor you want to make sure that the customers are happy and when we turn on sentiment tracking here we'll see that if there is a an unhappy customer then supervisors can be alerted regarding that conversation and then they can take measures and actions to uh, to basically fix the customer's happiness level. So here we are in the Omnichannel admin app. What we're going to do is scroll down here and we're going to go to sentiment analysis settings here. Okay, so let's go and click on that and it takes us over here and we can see here, here is the setting that says sentiment analysis, Agents and supervisors can see customer satisfaction levels instantly while communicating with the customer. Okay, so that's a that's an area on the chat that we're going to see from the agent side. So it will automatically keep the agent updated in terms of what it thinks is the customer's sentiment level. Okay, now we have here a couple of other settings below that. We have the agent settings where we can select a threshold for sentiment alerts. And basically uh, there's different settings here that we can apply and it basically says show alerts when a customer's sentiment decreases to or below and then we get to choose here what the sentiment value should be okay so i have it set to slightly negative so basically if the system picks up that anything in the in the customer's uh chatting is slightly negative it's going to tell the agent straight away basically hey you know i think that um this customer is kind of being a little bit uh, negative here, right? Uh, this may be a little bit too low for some people. You might want it to be more in the terms of negative or very negative. Um, and if you're an agent, you you can see what's going on on the screen anyway, right? So the, the agent can make that determination themselves if they need to. Uh, this is basically an, an, an additional alert from the system. And down here with supervisor settings, we have the same deal. So typically the supervisor is not actually actively engaged in every single chat going on, but the supervisor should be monitoring uh, all the chats going on, right, at a high level. And they can see in the ongoing conversations dashboard the sentiment of each of the individual chats. But this is a proactive way to basically tell supervisors, hey, look, there's a chat going on where something very negative is happening maybe you should jump in and and help the customer here so for the purpose of the demo i have this set to slightly negative and again you could set this to negative or very negative if you don't want to uh, bother the supervisors on every slightly negative chat right so you'll want to turn these on like that and then just go ahead and click save and then these settings will be updated so now let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to go over to our chat here. Let's close this down. This is a previous one and I'll just refresh this. And so basically I am signed into a uh, portal here, a Power Apps portal. And I have the chat widget embedded here on the portal in the bottom right. And I went through in a previous video how to actually go and tie these chats into Power Apps portal so that you can get authenticated uh, customers coming through into your chat, right? So it doesn't matter if they're authenticated or not, the same functionality applies. And what we can do here is let's go ahead and click on this and we'll start up a conversation and we'll see how this sentiment works. All right, so here's our chat that's coming through and this is our agent, Alicia. She's gonna click accept and we're gonna see here the back and forth uh, going on. And you can see here on the on the Omnichannel uh, ad, uh, agent app here, there is nothing where it says visitor two and we have the countdown, there's nothing next to it that's showing sentiment right at this point in time, but we'll see that it will start, okay? So I'm gonna say hi here 
and we and it says Alicia's joined the conversation here for the customer, and then the customer's going to type in, "Hi, uh, I am unhappy." Okay, so they go ahead and type this, and then if we go back to what the agent is seeing, we can see here that the agent sees this slightly negative uh, sentiment being reported here by Omnichannel. Okay. So straight away, uh, we know that this is gonna be a bit of a challenging conversation. And we can also see that there's this uh, exclamation that comes up here and it says, uh, basically, if you hover over it, urgent attention is needed in your conversation, right? So that's really useful. You know, an, an agent could have multiple uh, conversations going on at the same time, and they may be on a different tab talking to a different, different customer and then uh, this customer says, hey, I'm really unhappy. And then you can see straight away that this is going to require some pretty immediate attention from the agent. So now let's go back to the customer and we're going to type in, actually, I am very unhappy. So now it's probably going to take this to a new level of uh, unhappy sentiment. So if we tab over to the Omnichannel app and we have a supervisor logged in, we can see that they get this sentiment decreased message here in the top right, okay? And they get the ability to, to monitor this and to or to dismiss it. So I'm gonna click on monitor and we'll see here that the supervisor can actually uh, monitor the actual conversation that's going on, okay? So uh, when you click on that, they are taken into the conversation. The uh, Nobody knows that they're there at this point in time. They're just basically monitoring this and and seeing what's going on, right? And then you can see here that the uh, they have the full conversation history, so they can take a look here and make sure that the agents are, are doing the right job, okay? Um, and then they have these two options here at the bottom. One is uh, join conversation, and then the other one is join consult with agent, okay? So they could, uh, let's go ahead and click this first one here, and it says joining. And now we're in a consult session, so this is like a one-to-one -one between the agent and the supervisor, and the agent can type in, uh, hey, everything okay here? And uh, if we go and tab back over to what the agent sees, we can see that the agent gets this pop-up message here, and then they can go in and, and start typing. So if they type in, uh, uh, I don't think so, um, want to join, Okay, so the agent's basically asking for help here. And then, so now let's go back over to the uh, supervisor screen and the supervisor gonna click join conversation here. And then now they're actually part of the conversation. And if we look at what the customer sees, so they, they, they still don't see anything just yet. They, they still think they're chatting with the agent. And then let's go ahead as a supervisor and type in uh, a message. So the t supervisor might type in something like, um, Hey, uh, I'm a supervisor, can I help you? And then they'll send that off. And then we can see here that, uh, that David has joined and he's introduced himself to the customer and then he can go and appropriately deal with this. And uh, let's say the customer says, let's say the customer says something that raises their sentiment, right? So the customer says, uh, I'm very happy now. Thank you. So now if we go back to what the agent sees as well, we can see that the original agent is now seeing a slightly positive message here. And that exclamation that we saw over this tab is now disappeared. Okay, so it's not there anymore and everything's going back on track the way it should. So that's how sentiment works in, in Omnichannel and uh, Hope you guys enjoyed. It's a pretty useful feature and I think it's worth enabling because it'll help supervisors keep track of things and then therefore it'll keep the organization going down the right track with customers. Hope you enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.